topic is how do you deal with heartbreak? And as you can tell, we have all these props up here because some girls cry it out. <laughs> eat donuts. But this is me, I eat, I eat donuts. If you're a 420 girl, you get your smoke on. <laughs> a pill girl. Zanny girl. <laughs> <laughs> some drown in alcohol. However you deal with it, you know, let's talk about it. Yeah, but what we do know is that all this is just a temporary fix. Therefore, how can you deal with it in the long haul? What can get you past the finish line? Because ultimately, again, this only works in that moment. So I know for me, when I get depressed or I'm going through a heartbreak, I, I eat a lot of sweets. I eat sweets anyway, but I just go on a bench, like I'm eating cakes, milk, you know, and that's my comfort zone. That's what makes me feel good. I, I, I feel like cake and milk is almost as good as sex to me. Damn. Yeah, it fulfills me to that extent. Uh, ain't, like, no I cake, ain't no cake ever made me feel no, for that right. feel. <laughs> no, for me. I want some of that damn cake. Huh? <laughs> you want no, some of that cake? I done got up out my sleep before and got in my car and went to the store to go buy a chocolate cake and have it with milk because I need it to be satisfied. So it's that satisfying for me. I mean, I know that doesn't work for everybody, obviously. <laughs> but again, that's just a temporary fix. Um, In the long haul, what has worked for me is replacing him. Next one, catch the next. <laughs> You know, and once my feelings start evolving for the new individual, I kind of wing off of the last. So yeah. what works for you? <laughs> <laughs> that might be one of them that I'm trying to replace or the <laughs> or the one that I got. <laughs> no, I'm playing. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, <clears throat> heartbreak for me is a, is a process, first of all. You know what I mean? I, mm -hmm. I definitely go through stages highs and lows you know what i mean um you feel strong one day have yeah. breakdowns the next because yes. i know i go through yes. that it's myself. definitely an emotional roller coaster for me um i'm a crier so you know i i do a lot i use a lot of these <laughs> okay i do i do um i'll have my sweet tooth moment but you know i'll like my, my like i've said before on um film my mind never stops so i do need to take something to calm me down so i may have to take a pill or two to just you know just so my brain can stop and i can get some rest and i can wake up the next day and know that it's not that bad that i'm gonna mm -hmm. be okay that i'm gonna move on um you know some sometimes you know i don't i won't eat you know because I don't have an appetite because I'm sick to my stomach. Um, so you go through different things. I do. I absolutely. There's not one thing on this table that, you know, I haven't tried to ease the pain of heartbreak. Um, and then, you know, I'm a very, um, I need answers type person. Uh, mm -hmm. Or not really answers. But you want closure. I, I need closure. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely not that girl that just lets things be. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I want to know what, when, where, why, how, you know. See, like, I'm opposite. I don't want, I'm real prideful. So, you know, you're going to have to call me. And then if you never call me again, then oh, well, that was how we broke up. Yeah, see, that doesn't do it for me. I'm like, I need, I definitely, and, and I'm not even just talking about like when the, the guy is off of me. When when I'm off of the guy, like, listen, let me tell, let me explain to you why. So you give him closure Absolutely. when you offer him. Okay. Absolutely, that's good. That's Absolutely, good. because I don't want to be left hanging because mm -hmm. that does not feel good. The worst thing that you can do to a woman is leave, leave her, her wondering. Mm -hmm. Like that's the worst feeling ever. You know what I mean? So, like I said, it's definitely an emotional roller coaster for me, and not. Like nothing on this table I haven't tried um, to ease the pain. Um, time. I always say time heals everything, you know? 
time heals all wounds. Um, and I know for me, I when I'm going through things, I'm very spiritually in tuned. But when I'm going through things, I turn to God even more. You know, I pray a lot. I'm like, Lord, give me patience. Pull me through this. If this person is not meant to be in my life, get them out of my life, you know. So, I, I, I hey, I turn to this a whole lot. I, and I think that's the only thing, whatever God, whatever higher power you believe in, mm -hmm. the only thing that's going to get you through that is belief and faith because um, this, this this is temporary. Mm -hmm. There's no magic pill, even though I wish there was <laughs> a magic pill that mm -hmm. would make me feel better about the situation. I wish there was a drink strong enough or donut sweet enough. Um, or a cake good enough. Or a cake good enough. Or blunt that and make me high enough to mm -hmm. make me not feel the pain of heartbreak. You know what I'm saying? And I think a lot of ladies are afraid to um, admit that they go through these highs and lows while they're going through heartbreak. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't... I'm very open with mine. So, you know, I, I'm, I will call my friend and have a whole breakdown. Mm -hmm. Um, but you need to do that because that's part of the healing process. So don't don't just sit at home and eat your ice cream and eat your donuts, smoke your weed, pop your pill, and, and drink your alcohol because then you're going to just sit in it. And you have to, like, let it out. So somehow. what about the friends that don't have somebody to turn to, somebody to vent? You recommend DM me. <laughs> DM her. She could be a therapist. D listen. She's a whole therapist. No, no. no. <laughs> No. You know, listen. No, let's be real. No, no. That you have. There's somebody that you can talk well, they, well, to. Well, that's what I'm saying. So you say, let's say if they don't, or they're too embarrassed, they have people, but they don't want to share it with people. Do you recommend therapy? Absolutely. Absolutely. So don't be afraid to get help. Right. Professional help. Professional because help. Because I know, especially in our community. Um, a lot of our people be embarrassed. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't, I don't want to go see a shrink. I don't want to go to therapy. Therapy ain't gonna do nothing. But I find that, and I haven't tried therapy yet. I mean, I've tried it in a setting with my son, but not as far as a relationship. But I am willing to try therapy in a relationship. I think that's what these people go to school for, educate themselves for, and they can help. Well, I have gone to therapy. Mm -hmm. and it, For a heartbreak? For a lot of things. Okay. Um, and it definitely is a judgment-free zone because this person doesn't know me. So I could mm -hmm. say whatever and he don't know me. And I chose, my personal preference was to have a man therapist because I felt like a woman therapist maybe could be judgmental and, and i'm sure there's a lot of women therapists that you know are very you know grounded in the, the but mm -hmm. for me i was just more comfortable with the man um and i could tell him everything that i needed to tell him and i got it out and it was better than even talking to a girlfriend or whatever because mm -hmm. your girlfriends sometimes tend to girl you know he, you're the best thing he ever had he mm -hmm. he's he's you know he's you're he's gonna be it's his loss you know but I, that's not how i feel At i feel time. like it's my damn loss like right. i'm in mourning so i don't want to hear oh you know girl it's his loss and you know the girl ain't even cuter than so the you the therapist is transparent thank yes mm -hmm. the therapist is transparent because you know a lot of it's a lot of times you know and tell me if i'm wrong ladies like you when you're home you and god bless your homegirls for always pumping you up mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but at that time that's not how i feel sis have you ever tried yoga i know a lot of people i i me myself personally i want to try yoga because they say and the reason i say that is because you said your mind is always racing no, and they say that yoga, yoga helps shut the mind down i haven't tried yoga i want to try yoga but you know, I but have, you exercise do i do exercise so that Exerc works for her that so. works for me mm -hmm. um breathing exercises mm -hmm. you know like you know the, the those tend to calm you down or whatever it is like google some shit mm -hmm. just don't sit in it so ladies and gentlemen it's never a good idea to drown in any of this 
because a heartbreak can turn into a heartbreak for your family and friends if they watch you drown in this, drown in alcohol, obesity. You know, always seek professional help. Don't be too embarrassed to seek professional help and never turn to suicide. Um, contact the suicide hotline, you know, just seek help and always stay prayed up. Turn to the Bible. If you're spiritually in tune, God is always with you. You can get through anything. You know what I mean? Your your story, in, it's already written. And it's your testimony to help others. So you guys stay prayed up. Comments, questions, you feel free to DM, DM us. Mm -hmm. um, we will get back to you. Mm -hmm. Feel free to drop us some topics. You know what I mean? Like we, I, we have plenty of topics, but is there something that you want to hear about, talk about? Or you need I, help with, yeah, advice with? Absolutely. Stay prayed up. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Fuck with us. <laughs> <laughs> Follow us on, on IG. It's real underscore beauty and pain. Absolutely. We got you. We got you. Thank you. Bye.